In India, maize is emerging as the third most important crop after rice and wheat. Maize has its significance as a source of a large number of industrial products besides its uses as human food and animal feed. Diversified uses of maize for maize corn, starch industry, corn oil production, baby corns, popcorns, etc. and potential for exports has added to the demand of maize all over the world. It also possesses tremendous potential in terms of feed for dairy, poultry and piggery agro-industries. It is high-yielding, easy to process, readily digested and costs less than other cereals. It is also a versatile crop, allowing it to grow across a range of agro-ecological zones. Every part of the maize plant has economic value. The grain, leaves, stalk, tassel and cob can all be used to produce a large variety of food and non-food products. Innovation by means of research and development is the key. This is where the Directorate of Maize Research plays a key role by supporting and facilitating development through various assistance schemes in R&D. Their efforts have resulted in great demand of maize for food and industry and the area has increased from nearly 3 million hectares in 50s to about 8.12 million hectares at present. The production and productivity have registered nearly 12 and 5 fold reaching over 19.73 million tons with a productivity of 2.4 tons per hectare in 2008-2009. By the end of year 2020, the yield of maize is estimated to rise from the present 2.4 ton per hectare to more than 5 ton per hectare. Andhra Pradesh is an important maize growing state. An off-season winter maize nursery under DMR has been established at Hyderabad for multiplication of research material for different research centres of the country. There is also a regional maize research and seed production centre at Begusarai in Bihar for breeder seed production. Organised research on maize improvement started in 1957 under the auspices of the All India Coordinated Maize Improvement Project. The project has been located at the Pusa campus, New Delhi and was upgraded into Directorate of Maize Research in January 1994. This project directorate is mandated to, for overall improvement of uh, maize and the ill enhancement of maize in the country. Thus the odyssey of DMR began with the mission of enhancing the productivity, profitability and competitiveness of maize and maize-based farming systems with economic and environmental sustainability. The headquarters of the Directorate of Maize Research has a state-of-the-art coordinating unit, the first one in the country for evaluation and analysis of the vast data pool generated through multi-location and multidisciplinary testing infrastructure in the country. DMR aims at a stable production of maize through genetic improvement for higher yields, management of biotic and abiotic tolerance by improved agro-technique including post-harvest management of losses and quality improvement. It also undertakes scientific human resource development programs involving national and international agencies and organizations. The project director is delegated with the overall responsibility of research, coordination, administration and management of the multidisciplinary programs at national and international levels. Presently, there are 31 research centres in five broad base zones of the country. These zones are demarcated on the basis of area. 15 hotspot facilities have been identified across the country for screening of breeding materials against major diseases of the crop. DMR, with its 31 centres under AICRP maize, has achieved significant research gains as follows. Of the total 172 maize cultivars released by public sector, 29 maize cultivars were released by DMR, which includes 13 hybrids and 16 composite varieties, and the remaining 143 cultivars were released by different AICRP centres of DMR, of which 66 are hybrids and 77 are varieties. The improved maize cultivars include several types QPM, sweet corn, popcorn, high starch corn, etc. Some of the most promising and highly popular hybrids amongst farmers are HQPM1, HM4, etc. 
60 inbred lions with favorable traits like productivity, disease resistance, drought or cold tolerance and good combining ability have been registered in NBPGR for their use in hybrid breeding program. Integrated pest management strategies have been developed to minimize yield losses. Refinement in mass rearing technique of stock borers has been made. Post-flowering stock rots management has been developed through genetic resistance, manipulation of cultural practices, higher dose of potash and by using biocontrol agents, trichoderma formulation after mixing with FIM10 days before sowing. Package of practices for normal grain maize, QPM, baby corn and sweet corn developed. Intercropping systems developed for improving resource, use efficiency and higher profitability. Currently, DMR is carrying focused research on the following areas of crop improvement, crop production, grain quality and plant protection. Breeding The present focus in the maize improvement research program is on development of inbreds and single cross hybrids for normal, quality protein maize and specialty corn. Agronomy Development of agro-techniques focusing especially on resource conservation technologies in maize-based production systems and site-specific nutrient management for managing nutrient imbalance. Physiology Involved in screening maize germplasm for morphophysiological and molecular traits associated for abiotic stress tolerance. Maize entomology Involved in identification of resistance sources against major insect pests of maize like C. partilis and S. inferon. Entomology section of maize is also involved in development of technology for the commercial production of biological control agents and developing IPM strategy for major maize pests. Maize pathology focuses mainly on identification and development of resistance genotypes to major maize diseases like PFSR, polysora rust and turkicum leaf blight. Further, it is also involved in mycotoxin management in stored maize grains to reduce post-harvest losses. Biochemistry The Biochemistry Laboratory facilitates the chemical analysis of maize germplasm received from various centers of the coordinating unit and SAUs and meets requirements for analysis of different quality parameters of maize across India. Ares Cell provides IT services like computing, data analysis, internet facilities and managing the institute website. A series of products from QPM and Babycorn have been developed. Pickles, Murabba, Halwa, Pakora, etc. from baby corn and Dalia, Suji, different kinds of baby foods have been developed for nutritional security from QPM. The Directorate of Maize Research is also actively involved in extension programs and frontline demonstrations in the country. The extension program includes training of farmers, extension officers and agriculture officers in different states of the country whereas through frontline demonstrations improved technologies have been demonstrated to the farmers across the country and significant ill achievement has been made in productivity of maize. More than 40,000 frontline demonstrations have been organized at farmers field in different parts of the country for popularizing proven technologies and increasing production and productivity of maize. More than 80 officers training and several farmers training programs have been organized in collaboration with state agriculture universities for imparting knowledge and skill to agriculture officers and farmers of the country. DMR participates in several Kisan Mela and exhibitions held in different parts of the country and various maize technologies are displayed through specimen, charts, posters, etc. Babycon plays a significant role in ensuring livelihood security and augmenting income levels of farmers in peri-urban areas. Eterna village of Sonipat in district Haryana is a good example as most of the farmers of the village are involved in cultivating baby corn. Baby corn farming has proved to be a boon for the farmers and families of Eterna village. 
इसके अंदर जो हम दोहरा लाभ इसलिए है कि फ्रूट तो चला गया मंडी में तीस हज़ार से लेकर पचास साठ हज़ार रुपये एकड़ तक इसकी आमदनी किसान फ्रूट में करता है नब्बे दिन के अंदर और बाकी जो बच जाता चारा वो बहुत बढ़िया चारा होता है किसान उसका अपने पशुओं को खिलाए तो दूध की मात्रा बढ़ जाती है तो आम के आम घुटने के दाम तो किसान इसको काफ़ी लाभ उठा रहे हैं और सोनीपत ज़िले में हज़ारों एकड़ ज़मीन में आज हर दम बेबीकॉर्न की खेती होती है सोशियो इकोनॉमिक कंडीशन ऑफ विलेजर्स हैज सिग्निफिकेंटली इम्प्रूव ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ सीड प्रोडक्शन एंड कल्टिवेशन ऑफ बेबीकॉर्न व ऑर्गेनाइज बाई डी एम आर इन दिलेज द विलेज इज कंसिडर टू बी अ मॉडल फॉर कल्टिवेशन ऑफ बेबीकॉर्न इन इंडिया For DMR it has been a long journey but a magnificent journey indeed a journey full of newer challenges and every new challenge culminating in exciting finish with its concerted and dedicated efforts the will and enthusiasm of scientists and other staff backed by its corporate culture DMR has grown technologically making visible impact in enhancing the productivity profitability and competitiveness of maize in its journey dmr continues its ascent to scale new heights in search of excellence